All right, man, let's take a look at Cyrax and let's break her down. Cyrax is more of a technical character. She's not really a combo heavy type character. So if that's not for you, then definitely click out because Cyrax is not getting those big girl damaging combos. She's all about set play, all about mind games. She just truly wants to annoy the opponent. But anyways, right, we have her bionic kick. That's 2-3. It's a high into a mid and it's a great way to hit confirm. And she also has the cyclone string to complement that. So that's actually an extended hit. And if you actually hold down circle, she will actually spin in place. So it's pretty cool. It's a mind game off that string. And of course, if you hold it, you can cancel it and then go for her command grab, go for a regular grab, whatever you want to do. But you got to be careful because the opponent can interrupt if you delay that spin or they can just micro duck that last hit. Moving on, she has her back two, which is a launching overhead. It's pretty reactable. But I mean, if you have a cameo that has some low mix, AKA Lao Hat, that's a pretty hard to blockable situation. And to complement that back to overhead, she has back to four, and that's a low fake out for that overhead. So the opponent has to guess the overhead or the fake out if she goes for the low and gets that launcher. And because I have Janet Cage, you can see where I'm going with this. Now we get an extension from that low launcher. Her back two is minus eight, but the pushback, I mean, it's going to be really hard to punish that. And then the back two four, that low option is minus 12. So it is unsafe. It's a high risk, high reward situation. Now, in my opinion, her best button, which is back three, three, it's such a great tool because it's a mid into a high, but it's a great option to hit confirm and to stagger and to go with it. She can do back three, three, four. So it's a mid high into another mid and you can see she's going to bring them around. And what's cool is you can actually special cancel off of that string. Now she also has the grinder, which is 2-1. You can see it's a high into an overhead and that will actually launch. However, on block, it does leave you minus 10. Now, another thing I want to talk about is her forward two. The full string is actually forward two one and she goes in with that overhead and that is safe. But her forward two is so good because you can actually special cancel after that. And it's such a great way to break armor, especially on wake up. So we can do the forward two into a special move, something like that. And then back to that grinder string, you can see we're able to follow up with another normal, another special move, whatever it may be. So now with that concept, we have to formulate a combo that we can actually put that in. So with her heel string, her back three, three, we get special cancel into her special move, capture foam, and that's back forward one. So this is just like her Cyrax net, and it puts them in a stun state. Now, because they are in hit stun, after we capture them in that foam, we can go into her far bomb, which is down back forward two. Now, this will allow us to go in with that two one, and you can see the bomb is going to be there to catch them and launch them back up. So because of that, we have enough time to use her mid bomb while that bomb explodes and keeps them up. So now we're able to get two bombs on the screen just like this. There's one, and there's the second one. Now she has the cut above aerial combo attack, and that's one, two. So you can see what happens after that second bomb. If we jump up with that one, two, she's going to get launched on that second bomb. And knowing that we have that back three, three, four string that you can special cancel off of, we can end the combo that way. Now you have the choice to go in for a setup or you can just end the combo outright. So for this combo, we're gonna end with that sawtooth kick and that's down back four. So your basic combo right now should look something like this. Go up with it, 16 hits, 33%. And again, if you wanna go with the set play route, you do the same exact combo, right? But after this string, we just set up another bomb, and then we can go in for that mix. You see what I'm saying? That is Cyrax's game plan. You want to capture them in that foam, set up the bombs, and then get your set play going. Now, with that same concept, we can do mid bomb, close bomb, and they're going to get launched on both of those bombs. So now we just follow that same exact structure, man. Wait for him. We're going to jump up. One, two, back three, three, four, into down back four. Just like that, there's your combo. However, with a cameo assist like Janet Cage, Scorpion, or Movado, you can continue the combo after that sawtooth kick. So now if we get Janet involved, we can do a combo like this. Hot punch, jump in, three, four, into down back four. Just like that, 35%. Now with a cameo like Serena, of course we can loop this, right? But anytime we get them in this foam, Cyrax also has a teleport. And as you can see right here, anytime she teleports, she leaves a bomb behind her. Anytime we get a confirm, we can go in a teleport, 
We go back into the 2-1, and then we just set the same exact sequence up that we already know. So now we can do a sequence like this. We're going to capture them. Teleport. Jump up. 1-2. Just like that, man. There's our combo. 41%. Now what I found randomly, just by labbing, anytime you do her 1-1-2 on knockdown and a bomb is on the ground, it will launch her up. So that's something to know because you could probably get super creative with that. So like I said, man, she's all set play. You just got to get really creative with how you work it. You can do that. Cash out. Now we get a setup. Two bombs. Overhead option. You see what I'm saying? Like, you just got to get super creative, man. You know, we could do a string like this and just delay it right back into it. Something like that. And now our pressure starts. See what I'm saying? Like, that's unblockable. Kind of cheap. So with that being said, Cyrax has her back one, and it's actually a command grab. The full string is back one, two, and you can see she goes into that little animation. So now, man, we can get set play like this. Keep it simple. Into unblockable. See what I'm saying? That's really cheap, man. I hope you guys can see the vision with that. And the craziest part about this command grab is you can go into a cameo assist and it stays connected as one combo because you're not just open to the back one two or the back one alone but you can now go into a combo off of this Twenty-seven percent off a of command grab, and that wasn't even the max, man. Because now we can get two Kia's blades into the foam. And now we get him. Yep. Just like that, man. Fifty percent of your health bar is deleted off a of command grab into set play. I don't know, man. That's pretty sick if you ask me. And with another cameo like Sub-Zero, he can even freeze them in place. Just like that, man. 24 off a command grab, bro. Just think about that. But that's gonna do it, man. I think I covered everything I wanted to in this video for Cyrax. If I missed anything or you guys just have any other questions, just please ask. I appreciate you guys watching, man. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.